Guidelines for PSA testing have varied significantly over recent years, due in part to ever-changing scientific data. Current US guidelines state that for men aged 55 to 69, the decision about whether to be screened for prostate cancer should be an individual one, and that screening offers a small potential benefit of reducing the chance of dying of prostate cancer. In 2016, the Cancer Council of Australia, together with the Prostate Cancer Foundation of Australia, released its own guidelines for PSA testing. These guidelines state that for the average Aussie male, like our maid Gary, PSA testing should be offered every two years from age 50 to 69, with further tests if the PSA level is above 3 nanograms per mil. We know that, given how slowly prostate cancer develops, any survival benefit from PSA testing will not be seen for at least 6 to 7 years. This is why PSA testing is not recommended for men with a life expectancy less than 7 years. Men with a family history of prostate cancer carry an increased risk and should be offered PSA testing at an earlier age. If a man has one first degree relative with prostate cancer, for example a father or a brother, his risk of death is three times higher than a man without a family history. He should be offered testing from age 45. Men with two or more first degree relatives with prostate cancer have between a three and tenfold risk. The guidelines recommend that these men should start testing from age 40. Gary is 56 years old. He thinks his grandfather may have had prostate cancer, but he's not sure. He understands that if his PSA is elevated, he may require further tests like an MRI and a prostate biopsy. He also understands that if he's diagnosed with prostate cancer, he may be recommended surgery or radiotherapy, and that these treatments carry their own set of risks. Based on everything we've discussed so far, Gary decides to have a PSA test. We will discuss his result in our next episode.